Hello, my name is Raul Chavez Valdez. I am an associate professor of pediatrics in the Department of Neonatology at Johns Hopkins. I am the co-director of the Neuroscience Intensive Care Nursery Program and the Fellowship Program. Today I would like to introduce you to some of the important research that we are working on in my laboratory of developmental neurosciences at Johns Hopkins. In my lab, we study the short-term and long-term cellular and biochemical consequences of injury to the neonatal brain, with a particular focus in neonatal hypoxic ischemic injury, commonly known as birth asphyxia. Our ultimate goal is to identify mechanisms of injury amenable to treatment to improve some of the devastating outcomes seen in survivors. In 2017, we were the first to report the birth asphyxia results in the late deficit in inhibitory inputs to memory circuits in the developing brain. Deficit that persists to adulthood. Knowing that those inhibitory circuits develop for decades after birth and that these developmental processes are necessary for appropriate maturation of many behavioral and cognitive abilities later in our lives, our findings have helped us and other researchers to understand some of the neurodevelopmental impairments documented in survivors as they age, allowing us now to test various delay therapies to prevent these future deficits, experiments which are currently ongoing. Because genetic variability encoded in our DNA changes the way how our brain cells respond to birth asphyxia, my lab is also focused in the study of the human apoepsilon 4 allele, the strongest genetic risk factor for late-onset Alzheimer's disease, and its influence in the outcomes of birth asphyxia. One of the most intriguing and persistent findings in our mice carrying the human apoe 4 allele is a long time after birth asphyxia, they develop progressive brain inflammation and neurodegeneration leading to cognitive deterioration at a human equivalent as young as 30 to 40 years of age. These results suggest that birth asphyxia may accelerate the neurodegeneration more commonly seen in apoe 4 carriers. We believe that we have identified the brain cell initiating these pathological processes, and we have initiated the testing of therapeutic agents hoping to redirect cellular dysfunction. Our hope is that by using high-quality experimental approaches, we will continue making strides in the discovery of novel treatments to improve the life of our little patients and their families, preventing worsening deficits as they age. Thank you. Thank you.